At the Quinn Institute southeast of Big Sandy, the motto is healing the earth by growing food as medicine. The 700 acre spread held its grand opening on Tuesday. It's a project that founder Bob Quinn says will bring education, answers and encouragement to anyone who wants to change their farming into a more sustainable and less chemically dependent food operation. After 10 or more years of dreaming about having a regenerative organic research education and health institute, today is a reality. One, One, two, three, snip. With nearly 100 people in attendance for tours and a ribbon cutting, Bob Quinn calls the opening of the Quinn Institute the culmination of his life's work in understanding that food should be medicine. And the whole object of this um, institute is to help farmers grow better food that can be used medicinally to stem the tide of chronic disease and other problems we have in this country, mostly because of the kind of food that we're eating with lack of nutrition and all the additives and everything that we have. The Quinn Institute is divided into multiple large fields demonstrating ag systems, including the interactions between livestock, native pasture and different crop rotations. From his four varieties of dryland potatoes, many of which will be donated to local schools. Here, we've got about uh, 2,000 potato plants out here and they should produce over 4,000 pounds. In to learning more about the Institute's hard white winter wheat selection. So we can make it light tan, then we can have a lot more customer introduction. And that's what we want to do. <laughs> Tour participants got an up close look at what the Institute is all about and just how big of an impact organic farming has on Montana's number one industry. You know, Montana is a great place for organics. We have, you know, clean water, clean soil, clean air. We're, we're ideal for this, for organics. And the Quinn Institute just adds another layer to that. Rented acres from a neighboring non-organic farm will facilitate comparative studies. And the Institute will go beyond fields and croplands. The campus will include small gardens, orchards, a teaching kitchen, and small processing facilities. We need to get back to focus and being paid for nutrition. Wouldn't it be great if farmers were paid for nutrients per acre rather than bushels per acre? Southeast of Big Sandy, Tim McGonigal, MTN News.